They say you haven't been to Georgia until you've tried Gude, and so that's what we're doing this morning. Good morning from Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta, or Joja for short. Now, this is one of the most popular cities in all of Indonesia. It is beautiful. It was the country's first capital, and because of that, the downtown area is gorgeous. There's lots of culture, history. On the outskirts, there is fantastic nature and also magnificent temples that so many people go see. Now, for the last couple days, we've just actually been hanging out in some coffee shops. I've been catching up on my website, Bake is Magic, which is my job. It's where I include all of the tips that don't make it into videos. So we're gonna go have the most famous breakfast in Jojakarta, a very traditional dish. That's a bit unusual, I think. And then we're gonna rent a motorbike and go to the beach. Actually, that's the wrong order. We're gonna rent the motorbike first, then take it for breakfast and then we're going to the beach. So let me go find Alan. So we're actually not staying in the downtown core. When I booked this hotel room, I didn't realize they said it was in the city core, the heart of the city. And it's actually about a 45 minute walk away from downtown, but it is a very popular tourist area. I think because it's just outside the city, there are a number of bars here, so you can get alcohol all along this street, um, but also they have a lot of tourist services like getting a motorbike. So that's what we're gonna check out now. I'm just hoping it's not boule prices. Alan is gonna show up and hopefully get a good day price for a bike here. So that wasn't great news. As I said, it was a Saturday. We should have booked in advance. They don't have anything right now, but they said at 12, they'll message us. If they've got the bike back, we will take that bike. Saturday in Joja, book ahead. We are though gonna get a grab and go to the place that we wanted to have breakfast at because it is still within the city area. So I don't think it'll be very expensive to take a cab. Oh, somebody canceled. Okay. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> so these are the two sizes of bikes. The Vario is 90, the Beat is slightly smaller, and 80. Initially we wanted to get the Vario because it is bigger and we're going to be driving 45 minutes, but there's a family here and they really needed the Vario because they'll have three people on the bike. So that's fine, we just said no problem. Alan said the beat is fine for us to drive to the beach. It'll just be a little bit bumpier. Yeah. And you'll see that that man took pictures of everything because you do not want to be responsible, even if people are nice. You want to be able to prove that the bike isn't, doesn't have any damage from your day out. All right, looks like we're set to go. Alan is just checking things out one more time. Those guys were so nice. So I hope this bike works out because if so, I would definitely recommend this. I asked if they needed an uh, international driver's license if you're not Indonesian and they said no. It doesn't really work like that here in Georgia. As long as you're not doing anything illegal, police won't stop you. But if you are and you don't have the right driver's license, you will be in trouble. And then also, if you're not using an international driver's license, that means all travel insurance is void. So keep that in mind. We don't have to worry because this guy has an Indonesian motorcycle license. We made it to breakfast slash lunch. This is brunch in Jojakarta. Now this street is so busy. Lots of people coming in and out. And it's because it's like Gudeg Street. I'm not exactly sure what the official term is, but they have this Gudeg monument here. And shout out to Jet Lag Warriors for letting me know about the street in one of their videos because they found a spot that serves the food, let's say hand style, or when you sit on the ground. Not so much on the ground, but like on a platform. So you can get gudeg all over the city. You, you can't really go a block without finding it. But 
here is a spot where we can actually sit eating at Lesse Han. I find eating Lesse Han style or eating street food just makes the food better. So that's what we're gonna do, and I'll explain a little bit more of this dish to you. Yeah, I'm ready. One step Before we get into this, let me give you a little bit of history about this because this is a dish that's hundreds of years old. It's from the Mataram Kingdom of the 1500s, which what existed before Joja as we know it today. It was a Hindu kingdom. It's why we have all of these temples here. And as they were building that kingdom, they were cutting down a lot of uh, jackfruit and coconut trees. And that's where this dish came from. This right here is gudeg. Now gudeg is essentially young jackfruit that is cooked in a number of spices and coconut and palm sugar, all local to the area. Today they give you a number of different things with it. So we have some uh, tofu in this sauce that's called are. And then also, this is not a completely vegetarian dish because they've given you some beef skin. And then of course you've got some rice and we've got some mung beans here. The reason I love this spot is it's actually let's say hand style. Unfortunately, the one that Jet Lag Warriors recommended was not open, but Alan quickly found another one because he knew that this was my favorite way to eat. It's also how he likes to eat. But let's get into this jackfruit. Now, there are two styles of eating this. Normally in Joja, it's dry, so it's cooked dry. But if you go to places like Solo, it's actually in a more coconut kind of broth. And so it'll, it's called uh, gudeg white. This is called gudeg red or gudeg mara. Hmm, interesting. It's sweet. The texture is jelly-like, almost a little bit gelatinous. Now I know in Indonesia, people don't eat like each thing at a time like I do. I think if you put a little bit of rice into this, mm, already better. The mung beans here. Mm, mung beans are good. What I really want to try is this. This is cow skin, and I just dropped it. It's like this gelatinous, and I'm guessing it's spicy. Mmm, that's awesome. It's also spicy. Just one second. Mmm. Now, as I said, I'm eating all of these things separately to try them, but Gudeg is really a dish where you kind of put all of the components together. You don't need to eat the cow skin on its own. So this is a really interesting mix of a dish that you can find in the East and Central Java. You get the sweetness. You also get the spiciness and a little bit of the sauce. Mmm, that's the perfect bite, right there. Gudeg is a very popular breakfast dish. But if you don't make it for breakfast, don't worry. They're still open for lunch. This is delicious, definitely worth trying. Yeah, I try when I'm primary school. It's a uh, kind of sweet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's still sweet. Yes, it's still sweet. Still same okay. taste from my primary school. Yeah. Perfect. All right, that was a great lunch, but the day's getting away from us. So we're on the motorbike, we're headed to the beach. These are my favorite kinds of roads in Indonesia. They're just off the main street. Usually only motorbikes or people have cars here, but the most beautiful to drive through. This is the country. Because of residential and just the nature of the roads, you can't go very fast. But that's fine because motorbikes can't really go above 6 feet anyway, so it keeps the roads kind of free of the bigger cars who want the big roads. But these are the nicer ones. They're usually more shaded by the trees. Oh, so much better. We finally made it to the beach, 45 minutes, easy drive, very flat, all paved. So that was really good. We had to pay 10,000 each to get in and then also to park. But it was a really beautiful drive in some parts through that, those areas where there were the rice fields. I loved it, but something changed for the, for the worse. And that was as soon as we hit this beach town, I noticed there was tons of plastic garbage everywhere, like overwhelming. 
So I don't know what this beach is going to be like. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful. I've seen pictures, but they were all aerial. So maybe I was missing the garbage. Looks like we're going for we don't know what else to do here this is not a peaceful beach maybe up front but the waves are rough and then there's a whole lot of driving going around so we've got this for 300,000 and apparently there are four stops so I guess it's kind of like a tour which makes it worth it maybe we'll see all right are you gonna drive Alan's gonna drive okay so there are a number of things you can do here you can rent this which is 300 there's no time limit, although I'm sure it's not all day. You can rent a big ATV that's 100 for 20 minutes, and then also they have little small ATVs for kids for 50 for 20 minutes. I think that's it. And then the sandboarding, which we saw, I don't think, I think you have to go into town to do it. So Alan loves Jeeps, and they'll allow you to drive it, but someone's got to come along with you because, of course, you don't know where to drive and what is safe and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Okay. All right, I have to say, this is really fun. I'm so glad we did this. I didn't think going on the beach would be that fun, but it really is. And our guide with us is great at instructing us at where to go, but also just a really nice guy. They do give you a glass of ice, but I just feel like it's not the same as having coconut like this. And we have another plastic straw, which is making me really sad. It's probably just gonna end up on this beach. Hmm. You don't need to, this is fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to see more of Java in the rural area. Not the rural areas, but more the nature areas. I still think we can find lots of great food, but also, more great beaches yeah. and mountains for you. And, uh, temple also as the historic site. Yeah, the historic sites are not in the cities, they're outside the cities. And yeah. also one more thing I interesting about Jaffa, they are they their their kindness. They are so kind. They're very kind, they're humble, humble and also very honest. Guys, I think we're gonna end the video here because after this we've got to just drive back on the motorbike because the sun is going down. But this has been fantastic. I didn't know what today would be like, but I feel like this is the best video to share with people of stuff that we like to do. And also, I mean, there are lots of other things to see in the city, but it was too hot. It was really, really hot. I had a great day. Yeah. What was your favorite part of today? The Jeep. Yeah, <laughs> I figured. <laughs> All right, guys. Tomorrow, we are getting on a bus to Magalang to do something really fun. We're going to a small little village in the mountains that they call the Nepal Pan of Java. Indonesia. Uh, the Nepal of Java. Van Java. Van Java. Yeah. yeah. So it should be really fun. We're not sure how it's going to work out because we haven't worked out the details. We have somewhere to stay. That's all we know. But we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye. Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.